Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to inject new textures on your Nintendo 64 game, so get ready. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've got Project 64 up here, and what we've got to do is set our, essentially, plugin to a N64 Glide. So what this does is it allows you to inject uh, textures. So uh, part of you know th these games, we've got different textures, and uh, if we can enhance those, then we get more of a high-def experience. But at the end of the day, we're still looking at uh, the Nintendo 64, right? But what a difference it makes when we've got better quality images across the board it really brings the, a, a new light to these games so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can make these uh games high def there are uh, not a lot of projects that are out there that are doing this uh, so i'll kind of show you the the ones that i was able to find and maybe you guys can find others as well and share those in the comments but uh, in your project 64 uh, folder what you got to do is you've got to create a folder called high res underscore textures and when you do that you're going to go ahead and open that up and all of these folders are essentially the the folders that have the textures so if you know you're opening up one of these folders you've got all of the different textures that were basically handmade and you know it will replace the images across the board so it looks like a hot mess here, but it trust me on this, it, it actually does make a, a world of a difference here. So I'm going to go ahead and include those on the FTP, as always, on Emmy Movies, and it's going to go under... Um, I'll pull that up at the end here. So let's go ahead and keep going here. And I wasn't able to get this set up in RetroArch for whatever reason. I, I did a lot of research on this, and... It seems like you can do this in RetroArch, but I don't know if it's a, a plug-in issue or a core issue, I should say. Uh, but, it, you know, everything that I'm reading says that this should work in RetroArch. And ideally, that's, you know, what you would do here. But I just wasn't able to get it working. And if you guys have any suggestions on how to get that working, uh, definitely let me know. And I will make some updates. But in terms of, you know, RetroArch, yeah, what, what the hey? I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, open that up so you can see where I was trying to put this. Um, so if you, you go under the RetroArch uh, folder that you're after, uh, there's two places that we're going to be trying to put these cores in here, um, or sorry, these textures in uh, RetroArch. And the one recommended spot was in the cores folder. And you would have to create systems here and Nupin64 Plus, because that is your plugin, or your, your core, I should say. And then you've got to create a cache folder. And this is where you would uh, drop the HTC files that I'll be discussing here in a second. I do apologize, I'm kind of jumping around, but um, it, I just kind of get it working in RetroArch. Uh, the other uh, method that I was reading online was under the system folder in RetroArch. Nupin64, you've got to create the cache folder and you drop in the HTC uh, file, which we're going to be creating. But the, you know, the HTC uh, file just was not catching, I guess, on RetroArch. I, I just don't know why it wasn't working. Um, I did everything that the tutorials were saying, but I, yeah, we're, we're just going to stick with uh, Project 64. Uh, that's just how it ended up uh, working for me. So I hope it does uh, for you too. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get this thing going here so going back into project 64 and the files that you're going to need you're going to need the high res textures folder like we were just talking about and then we're going to need in the plugin folder we're going to need glide n64 dll and the i and i so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to open up project 64 now and that's here we're going to go to options we're going to go to graphic plugin and then what we've got to do is basically update um, you know what we have in these options now to get to these 
we've actually got to select the right plugin. So let me go ahead and uh, back out of here. Let's go to configure RSP uh, plugins here, I think. No, it wasn't that. We're going to go to settings. There it is. So under the settings video uh, plugin, you're going to select Glide N64 as your plugin. And once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then you'll go to configure graphics plugin. And you'll see that these are the options. You're going to select the options that are relevant for your monitor. And that's what you see here. But the ones that are important, you're going to go to the emulation tab. You're going to make sure that all of these are checked. And then you're going to go to frame buffer. I think all of this was by default. You're going to leave those as is. And texture enhancement is going to be what you'll be uh, making sure is set up correctly here. You're going to save the enhanced texture cache to the hard disk. You're going to compress the texture cache and everything else is left alone up here. You're going to go to the texture pack tab next and you're going to select use texture pack, use full transparency, and then you're going to save the enhanced texture cache and compress it. You're going to make sure that your paths are matching your high res texture. Remember you're dropping that high res texture folder in your Project 64 folder uh, and also your cache folder, you're going to have to create in your high res texture folder as well. You'll just select browse, you'll select the, uh, you know, the, the path that you've created and that is it. So essentially when you have all of that set up, just based on these paths alone, you're going to hit OK and you are up and running. So all you've got to do now, so since you've got your Glide N64 uh, DLL and you've got your um, your textures, then when you launch one of these games that have a texture pack, you'll see some things load, which I'll show you here in a second, and I'll show off uh, Mario 64. It looks amazing, and you'll be uh, hopefully impressed. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to include the high res texture folder so you can just drop that whole folder in there and literally just have to select your plugin into Project 64. Now something to keep note here is whenever you launch one of these games with uh, a texture pack, uh, what it does is it it adds a file in your cache folder. So this is what I was trying to do within RetroArch. Your HTC folder, or sorry, file is created after you've uh, you know, essentially opened the game for the first time. And this is what RetroArch is supposed to be looking at, uh, you know, if you drop them in the specific folders that I was doing. But sadly enough, I couldn't do it, but it is totally worth it to just use the Project 64 emulator just to, uh, you know, to see this awesome sauce here. So let's, you know, enough talking from my end. Let's go ahead and uh, look at, you know, the difference here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this and we will go s full screen here. Uh, well, we'll just leave it at this. So what you're going to see here, you can already see it. It looks amazing. I mean, th this is a 64 game. <laughs> I mean, it's it's awesome. All right, so here we go. You can see just right off the bat, you got the clouds in the back. Totally different. Uh, the the font is a lot more clear and. Yeah, I mean, you're still going to have some jaggies, uh, so to speak. Uh, it's 64 after all, but already, I mean, look, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't believe it. So the, the texture pack is all included there. There's only a handful of games that have these texture packs that um, are complete. There are some projects that have, like, partially complete stuff, but these things really haven't been worked on for, like, five plus years, so... You know, don't bet on these, um, you know, getting completed anytime soon. But this game, I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> um, I know there's other, you know, projects going on that are trying to, you know, make these games, uh, you know, under an Unreal Engine. But this is crazy. I mean, look, look at that. I mean, it plays great. There's no lag behind it. Um... Uh, I, I don't know, enough said, right? I mean, it, it just adds new life to the game. And I, I hope uh, 
you enjoy this and I will include this on the FTP. I'll go ahead and show you where I'm going to drop that in there uh, right after I open this door here. There's really nothing, you know, too much to, to show here, but um, Toad kind of looks a little funny there <laughs> for what it is. Kind of creepy uh, looking, but other than that, like, I, I, there's no complaining here. It's amazing. It just looks so clean. Um, so yeah, there you have it. So let's go and uh, close out of this and we will uh, finish this thing off. So what we've got to do here is on the Emmy Movies FTP, uh, you know, you'll have to find the game or, you know, what have you, but I'm going to go ahead and show you where I'm going to drop the texture pack. Uh, since, since that is a community uh, made file and we will uh, show you where that's going. It's going to the official, it's going to Ninja's Dojo, it's going to Hyperspin and it's going to emulators and there will be a folder for uh, Project 64. So that is uh, where it's all going. I hope you guys like it and let me know if you guys find any extra texture packs. Uh, the only ones that I could find that are complete are right here. We've got Banjo-Kazooie, Castlevania, Conquer, Diddy Kong Racing. I think that was partially created, you know, uh, completed, but it was still worth uh, getting. Projects, or uh, sorry, uh, Mario Kart 64, Paper Mario, which looks stunning as well. Shadow Man, Smash Brothers, uh, some of the characters are kind of hit and miss, but in general it looks great. A Star Fox 64 uh, looks tremendous as well and uh, Legends of uh, Zelda is also you know we're you no know, we're, we're we are pulling that up because that is also an amazing uh, looking one and then same with uh, Majora's Mask so let's go ahead and uh, pull up this I do apologize this is becoming longer than what I thought it would be oh, sorry let's get the right version here that I was using in here and what we're gonna do is check the recent and let's let's just do this here so we are going to Legends of Zelda and we are going to take a look here at this guy here you're gonna find quickly that it looks tremendous it's loading all the cash and here we go All right, just, you know, right off the bat, you can already, you know, kind of get a vibe that it, it's it got the updated uh, graphics, if you will. Let's see here, let's, let's just get into this. Oh, all right, so let's... thought I already did this, but we're going to do it again anyway. Unbelievable, guys. Who knew that this was a thing? Uh, clearly, I didn't. But we're going to get into the intro here so you can kind of see the uh, graphics as you uh, remember. Or maybe not. So we're going to go ahead and open this. Come on. See, that's the one thing. With RetroArch, you could have just zipped right through this and we would be uh, moving right along. But since there is no fast forward, we really can't... Uh, do that but you can see already unbelievable i mean this is the 64 right like this does not make sense to me but i'm gonna take it it's going to be amazing and it gives them a nice shot in the arm that's for sure so take a look i mean it's kudos to the person that um uh, you know updated these textures because they did an absolute great job Kind of gives you a 3DS feel almost. I'm not really quite sure what it reminds me of, but <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I mean, the, the Jaggies are, are gone, uh, or most of them. So I'm not going to um, go through all of this, but I'll leave that to you guys to enjoy. Um, it, it looks great, and I, I can't help it. Uh, the, the text is su just super clear. I hope you guys enjoy it uh, as much as I am, and I will uh, catch you next time.